Hey, and welcome to day two here at CSM. I'm Jillian McLean, your Student Assembly Director of Communications, and I'm here with the Prehab guys, Mike and Arash. So welcome. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Throughout the conference, we have, for the rest of the day, we'll have more live interviews going on. But for right now, where did the brainchild of Prehab guys come from? <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's in the basement of USC. Uh, Essentially. Yeah, I mean, literally. literally. So uh, it was our second year of PT school when we were going through more neuro and cardio poem. And at that point, we were really interested in orthopedics and sports. And so all three of us wanted to pursue and keep learning that. At the same time, we all had a strong entrepreneurial spirit. So we wanted to push with something. We didn't know what it was. And we were on a cruise, actually, during that winter break. Oh, rough and, life. Yeah. <laughs> Mexico. Yeah. I know, Mexico, yeah. Uh, we won't get into details, but uh, what happened is the idea of starting some type of social media platform came about. And afterwards, we decided to meet literally in the basement of our... The day uh, before class started. The day before class started at, uh, during our winter break. And we just brainstormed a bunch of different ideas on what it is that we wanted to really do. Uh, and so we came up with a vision. The name itself, we were brain we had so many different names on the whiteboard. You, if you saw it, you you think we were crazy. Yeah. Wait, what? What are some of those names? I, <laughs> I, I, I kind of want to hear what the other possibilities were going to be. I, I don't remember the names, but every time someone threw up a name, we'd be like, eh, one person would be really stoked on it. It's yeah. good that we have three because it's yeah. like a majority or kind of. And one person would be like, nah, I don't really like that. We just kept throwing stuff around and around. And then I remember the first time we said the prehab guys. Because we wanted, we, we got hooked on the word prehab, mm -hmm. prevented it. We're like, oh yeah, let's keep going, let's keep going. Someone said the prehab guys, and I think we kind of laughed. We're like, nah. Yeah, <laughs> well, I guess I guess there was the gate guys that were on mm -hmm. YouTube, uh, yeah. analyzing okay. gate mechanics, and we we had because Mike had a business before this too, human performance yeah. therapy, and so we were thinking about keeping that name, but we were like, no, nah, we wanted something more as as a like as an entire three of us, you know, yeah. to have us have our own entity, and he, he has his own entity, but point being is that yeah the preventative part is what really got us mm -hmm. and so that's when we stuck with the prehab guys well that's pretty awesome yeah yeah did yeah. you did you think it was going to get this big when you started oh, no. of course yeah. what do you mean yeah, yeah. no no yeah, yeah, overnight, like, <laughs> super confidence great yeah no not no no all. not no not i mean all. we were really doing it for ourselves initially just to really pursue like our writing skills our teaching skills um it, the social media platform, I understood the importance of it and mm -hmm. just using, uh, understanding how to leverage these platforms, but we never really purposefully grew this audience to what it was today. We didn't think, we didn't think it was going to get like this. We, we wanted, like, say, say, talking about the business, I had a blog that I was writing for at least maybe six months prior, and it's the exact same stuff that we do now, I mean, of course, we do not even expand it upon that but no one was reading it because it's just a website and you need to, without getting super complicated, SEO and all this crazy stuff for websites. But social media is something that everyone's already on. Social yeah. media is something that we all, at least in our generation, inherently know how to do. Yeah. So we knew that we had to do something on social media and yeah. we were like, let's do the same concept of prehab and we'll start social yeah. media. And that just grew from there and oh, never well, did yeah. we. Yeah. No way. Exactly. No, we understood the value behind these platforms and people use these platforms as their news source nowadays. Mm -hmm. Even these news platforms are on social media, yeah. you know? The newspapers aren't pre being printed as much as they used to. That's just the reality of it. Yeah. And so we wanted to leverage these platforms and, and thankfully it worked out. But it was never, people ask us to what was like the secret, what was like the magic pill that really got us to where we were. It's not, it's not like that. It's just consistency, constant growth is how it works. We just figured out what we wanted to do and consistently posted. I don't think we've took a day off since we've started. Every day. Uh, every day we make a post. Yeah. Every day there's a post. I think you guys have done a, done a pretty good job. <laughs> we've um, tried. Yeah. We've had like 600 episodes, right? Yeah, yeah. I think. How I do think you? Around. Where do you get ideas at this point? Anywhere. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can talk with someone. Someone will say something like, "Cool, I'll write that down." And what's nice is now we're in clinic full time. Mm -hmm. We're working. Every conversation you have, that's the best thing that. I say what we do is we take what we do in person with somebody that's a patient of ours and you make that online because what we do is we educate. That's what we do with our patients. That can easily be transferred online. It can be broken down in so many different ways. So yeah. everything you have with the patient, every exercise, every conversation, that's what you can we try to make it. Yeah, we try to make it applicable. And it's funny because during school, I thought would be the easiest time to create content because we're learning a ton. I mean, it's textbook stuff. You're, you're going through all this information you think it's easily to convert that into posts mm -hmm. and episodes but in reality it wasn't until we started working or we're in the clinic that these ideas came up to us a little easier yeah. because that's when you really apply this stuff it's not just the text stuff the text you need that 
but it's when we started working that it was like, okay, now it's a lot easier to create content because I'm just showcasing what I'm already doing yeah. into these videos. And now each patient is basically an episode, at least one or two. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So instead of being like the fake patients that were each other, you actually had like real people real that patients. had real problems. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So where do you guys see the future of the prehab guys going from here? So we like to say we are an online education platform. We want to start there. That's the overarching principle. Mm -hmm. um, our target audience is still the average person that, call it, say, any 20 to even 15 to 50, that already is active, already is doing something. Maybe they're doing Pilates, they're doing yoga, doing CrossFit, but that we can help maybe do it a little better, maybe optimize the movement a little bit better or prevent them from ever seeing us in rehab. Like I love seeing people. I love helping people get back to their goals. But what if we can just keep them there? And we'll start there. We have a lot of um, a lot of projects that we're developing right now online. We just we're about to sign a deal yeah. with this big company that'll help us um, take what we have now and even grow exponentially on it. Yeah. So how do we find you guys on social media and your website? What are those? So they. Know. So the handle is the prehab guys. So the prehab guys. Same thing. <laughs> same thing with everything. I mean, it's 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 all the same. Uh, okay. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Our website is theprehabguys.com. Easy mm -hmm. enough. Easy okay. enough to remember. Yeah. All right, well, thank you guys so much for joining me today, and we'll uh, see you throughout the conference. Definitely. Thank you.